Hello. Hello, I'm Shargal, a trainer with the KetFit team. Today I'll introduce the new power station Kinetic F3 by Kettler. It offers a wide variety of exercises with minimum height and space requirements, so it can easily fit in every cellar. It has push weights of 80 kilograms and 5 kilogram discs, ensuring that beginners and advanced students alike can train all areas. The outstanding variety of exercises allows you to perform almost any gym exercise. With training in this new machine, we're not only talking about making muscles look great, but about muscularly supporting the joints, shoulders, knees, hips, to offset muscular imbalances, torso strengthening, back strengthening. Joints can be better protected through targeted strength endurance training and are thereby better able to deal with everyday burdens. Torsten will now show us a few exercises. We begin with the leg stretches. With this leg stretch exercise, it's important to make sure the settings are correct, that the knees are on an axis with the ankle, and the cushion is just above the feet, so that during the exercise the feet can be brought up to the knee lock. Whoever trains the leg stretcher also has to train the leg bending muscle. Here it's important to set the cushion so that it stays in the heel when the foot is pulled up. Now we come to the lat pull with which we specifically train the upper back. Grab the handle at the top, exactly. Grasp slightly wider than shoulder width. Sit down, feet on the ground. He now pulls the bar down behind his head. The important thing is that the upper body is not slumped and that the chest is kept straight. And stop. Exactly, straighten the arms, just make sure that the elbow stays slightly bent. And stop. The alternative is to pull the bar to your chest. This automatically results in the chest coming towards the bar and thus we are able to work the inner back a bit more. For the next exercise, the biceps curl, we give Torsten a little rope by releasing it here and attaching it here. For this exercise, Torsten steps one foot back, ensuring that he does not overstretch his back. Here it's important that the elbows are kept tight on the upper body. The movement comes only from the biceps, chest remains upright, nice and straight, also the shoulders stay low. Wonderful. The rowing pull is a great alternative to the lat pull that we had already. In this case it's not drawn from the top down, but from the front to the rear while exhaling. In this case the weight is pulled all the way to the body for a complete contraction of the back. The arms are once again only slightly bent, the body is straight, the chest is leaning against the cushion. Strength training is not only a preventive measure, but also for rehab, sometimes even post-operative. In the next exercise, the bench press, we train the chest muscles and upper arm muscles. In this case, the triceps. Here it's especially important to remember, shoulders stay low, wrists straight, and your elbows are always slightly flexed. The counterpart to the biceps is the triceps, the three-headed upper arm muscle. This is worked by extending the elbow joint. In this case, the elbow is pressed against the upper body, wrists stay straight, and it's essential to keep the shoulders down. With the next exercise, the side lift, we train the deltoids, the shoulder muscles. Here it is especially important to keep the shoulders low and the elbows and wrists so that the handle is not allowed to go higher than the shoulder. In this case, we use a slow, controlled movement and the elbows are always slightly bent. In the next exercise, crunches with a counterweight, we simulate good old sit-ups. For this one, the cable is pulled over the handle and placed firmly on the upper shoulders. This exercise will train the entire abdomen, from the very bottom up to just below the breastbone. Here, it's important that you maintain a tight grip, move forward, and only go back so far that the weight is not completely released. And now we'll do the butterfly. 
Once again, we'll work the chest muscles. Here it's important to keep your arms stiff, elbows slightly bent, and held together in front of the chest. Torsen lifts his arms a little while exhaling. Exactly. Move them forward together, go back, and exhale again. The butterfly reverse is very multifunctional. We'll now train a lot of muscle groups. That is to say, the rear shoulder muscles, triceps, the inner back, and even the lower back a bit. Torsen must remain stable and not lean forward or backward. The higher we move, the more we work the shoulder muscles. In this case, though, we want to limit it to the back muscles, so we stay a bit further down. Breathe in and breathe out. 